Do you open? Does not open. Does not open from this side. Damn it. I'm really trying to open up a shortcut here. Any shortcut besides that, uh... Like, that elevator's nice, but I'd like to get a, a shortcut that takes me, like... Right... Like, a shortcut that directly bridges the... Boss fight that has to be somewhere in here... To the... Some sort of lamp somewhere that'll be close by. So I don't know where I'm going now. From the inside, but... At some point, I can open the other side of that gate, which means I can open... This would be some sort of shortcut path. Oh yeah, this is one way. So I couldn't find another way in. I had, I did have to drop down to do it. Good to know. I can't make that jump, and probably there's probably an invisible wall stopping me, so I'm gonna have to do... Plunging attack? I'm not psyched about the fact that he's like right in front of me. I'll give it a go. Hey, buddy. Blammo, that's... There's some damage for you, buddy. Let's... Let's experiment with how fast snakes can turn around. Turns out not very fast. Where am I now, though? They give you lots of souls. Two more blood shards. Which are worth 200 blood each. Keep calling them souls. And I'm back to not being sure where I am. We thankfully found a bunch of new stuff and, ex and got a bunch of new items, and that's good. But I am pretty thoroughly back in the territory of where the fuck- Oh, there's something. Let's take care of this guy sneaking up on me. You think you're clever? You think you're clever, boy? Get out of here. So, I could pro- I might be able to drop down and not die, but I'm gonna avoid that, because it doesn't even look like a zone I'm supposed to be in, but... Oh, that's the- Okay, I understand what's going on here. That's the river. We, we, we ran into a creek that was being patrolled by a, uh, boar. And I went in one direction when I found it, but there was another direction I could have gone in too. Got an item over here. Frenzied cold blood times, uh, level 7. And even if I die and lose all of my blood, I'm gonna have a lot of blood I can spend anyway, just from all these items. How many do I have now? That- that's a fair amount. Some high level ones at least. I'm hearing a piggy. He's probably down in the river. But yeah, I encountered the river before, or the, the creek, or whatever you want to call it. And I didn't follow- I only followed it in one direction towards that one pond. But if I go in the opposite direction, I can almost- I can pretty assuredly find something else. Anyone behind me? I keep feeling- uh, oh, I keep- I keep hearing- I hear two different pigs in two different directions, I think, because I don't think I've killed either of them in this run. It's really throwing me off. Alright, here's the creek, and this is roughly how we found the creek the first time, and I went left. And found that big still pond, which made me think of stuff like, uh, the Hydra fight from Dark Souls. So I was like, is something gonna happen here? And then nothing happened. Alright, go to cane mode for this guy. I find the cane useful against the boars. There we go. The charge attack does a lot of damage. Then you then you just have to avoid whatever comes next. If you're lucky, yeah. Ideal, ideally, you'll you'll bait a quick attack like that. Oh god! Wasn't expecting him to lift up like that. I thought I was gonna it would just do one quick little tap and finish him off. And he was he was well. I wouldn't say he was ready, but he he did something else. <laughs> So here's the direction we haven't explored yet. Hopefully there's no nasty surprises. Because that's what happens in Souls games. There's no nasty surprises. So they want you to go that way because they're luring you with an item. But it feels like a trap. So I'm going to go around because I, I don't think that that's the only way there. And I fully expect something bad to happen because there's a bunch of c gross little beast corpse walkie people down there. Well now I've got the upper hand. I, sneak, I snuck up on you. There's a lot of them in here. Wow. Chain mode. It is chain mode time. Sort of fend them off from all directions, hopefully. Because they are, they're everywhere in here, it looks like. They're nasty little shits, too. They have full bodies, but aside from that, they kind of look like, uh... They're reminiscent of, uh... They remind me of gremlins when they're, like, melting in the sun. Gross. Met gremlins from the movie Gremlins, of course. So I got a dissipating lake rune. So many runes. There must be a rune... I must get the workshop item soon. Bolt damage reduce, reduced by 5%. One of the lake runes increased bolt defense. Uh, a Kel rune that describe that transcribes inhuman sounds. The transcription of the great ones in human voice ripples through the water like a water reflection. The rune means lake, and those who memorize it enjoy reduced bolt damage. Enjoy volumes of water. Serve at great volumes of water. Serve as a bulwark uh, guarding sleep and an augur of the eldritch truth. Overcome this hindrance and and seek what is yours. So we're quickly stocking up on a number of runes. So I, I assume the room the rune workshop tool must be nearby. Because otherwise, like, they're just showering me with this thing and not letting me use them at all. Was there something nasty over there? What is that over there? Is that a boar? 
I can't quite tell if that's just a boar or something a little weirder. But I know this guy is fucking get, getting his head caved in, so... He's not gonna find out either. Ha ha ha! What's the item over here? Sedative. Oh, that's new. That's an... Oh, it's a boar. Alright, that's no big deal then. What are you What are you giving me? Blood vial. Does he see me? So I want to look at the sedative for a second here. Uh, sedative, 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 so many goddamn items. It's not in here? Oh, there it is. Liquid medicine that calms the nerves. Uh, those who delve into the arcane fall all too easily to madness and thick human blood serves to calm the frayed nerves of these inquisitive minds. Naturally, this often leads to a reliance on blood administration. I assume that's an anti-frenzy item. Where the, where the boar at? I heard him walking around while I was doing that. No, he, he didn't really move, actually. I thought... <laughs> The moment I did, went to that screen, I, I was just assuming he was going to approach me. Is he going to make the mistake of going right under- Yes, he is. <laughs> Fla there's a nice- There's a nice flashback of the boar- Ow! Rude. There's a nice flashback of the- of the- the iron boar from Dark Souls 1, where he's dumb enough to walk directly under you, and it's like, time to teach you what a backstab is, player. Because this is a stupid boar. And that board did the same thing, but then I was dumb enough to get too aggressive in this game that's all about aggression, and I got hit. But a quick heal worked out for me, because he went ahead and just dropped the same thing for me anyway. Yeah, it looks like someone else is having the same encounter fighting a boar if they're dodging around th that area. Can I break the fire? Nope. So this looks important. We're going somewhere here. I don't have a lot of other paths in mind to explore, so I'm hoping this leads me to either a shortcut or a boss. It would be a bummer if it's just a boss and no shortcut too, because the path back could be tough. Let's see, down seems like it would go so Let's go up first. Maybe this will lead me to that gate I saw and I'll be able to open it from this side? Yeah, yeah, there's the gate. Called it. Alright. Open up! So this is where we found one of the runes. That guy is very dead. Yeah, and we did the plunging attack on that snake. Okay, so I, I at least know how to get here. So that's one that's one method. Uh, although going going running up the creek is actually probably a faster way. Yeah, the, the creek's actually right by the elevator, so running up the creek to get here is not a big deal. So opening that yeah, opening that gate actually is less of a big deal than I was hoping it would be. Oh well. What is going to be down here? Is it going to be a boss fight? Oh, that's a boss fight. That's a fog gate right there. Let's go to cane mode. It's because it's faster. It's often necessary. I don't know what I'm getting myself into right now. Wait, is this is this is this area gonna be a boss fight? I'm concerned. This looks ominous. Well, I don't see any snakes around, so I'm gonna go back to. Let's see. Let's go back to our highest defense set we have. Uh, it's pretty much the hunter set, more or less. Yep, more or less. Uh, Henrik has that compare. A little bit of elemental resistance. Henrik's yeah, the Henrik set's not bad, is it? Oh, the hunt. Oh, some of these have better defense though than than Henrik does. The chest piece. Yeah, it's just the gloves that are comparable, aren't they? Oh, this one's comparable. All right, I'll wear Henrik's chest and gloves because they have the same defense as the other hunter set, but they give you some elemental resistance because I don't know what I'm getting myself into. It's kind of a cool mixture of appearances. All right, so I mean that's got to be a that's good. Uh, wow! I was literally steps away from. St okay, three enemies at once means chain mode generally. Yep. Oh, that's fire! That's a big, scary fireball. There's three of you guys, huh? How's that work? How's that working out for you? I'm not really in a hurry to get too close to you, you nasty little fucker. Ow! Ow! Just gonna back off for a second, get a little bit of a distance. Okay, oh, at, least, at least it's a big zone. Oh, they have homing fire? Oh, it has, has limited range too. Well, the, the sword guy is the most aggressive guy. So he's gonna die first because he's the one that's running right up to me over and over again. Huh. I'm just gonna keep moving, keep my distance. Hide behind things if I can. There's a big gravestone here that could be handy for that. And jump attack. There we go. How's that feel, buddy? There we go. Hup. Yeah, the sword guy's most vulnerable for sure. Oh no! Fire's happening. 
Not very staggering fire, though. It hits you a bit. But you can kind of recover from it before too long. It's a little hard to... Oh, okay, the one on the right, I think, is the one I've been hitting. Yeah. The other one's a lot more cautious, isn't he? I'm just gonna keep running away. <sighs> so far, not too bad, but this could have phases that could be bad. If I'm not careful. Jump attack! Yeah, that staggers him handily enough. And this chain is way more distance than I even I remember it having. Oh, oh, what, what, what happens when he goes down? Oh, he goes into snake mode. Okay, well, maybe I should have stuck with my poison resistance equipment after all. Did his sword just light on fire? I think it did. I don't like that at all. I don't like so I don't like flame swords. Ow, shit. He breathes fire now. Good to know. Ideally, I could isolate that guy again and kill him. Because once one of them's dead, that should be, I should be better off. Fewer content. Ow, what happened? I have no fucking clue what just happened. Did he like stab me through the the, the ground? So, the, some ja some Japanese characters have like a weird ability to like I stab the ground. That means a sword comes out of the ground. Where you? Oh, he has an extendo blade. Oh, fuck that noise. Yeah, he has to die first. I can't. Also, bullshit. He extendo bladed me through the gravestone. I think, which he should not be allowed to do. Oh god, this fight gets complicated fast, doesn't it? Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. Ah uh, ha ha. He, yeah, everyone got aggressive and scary all of a sudden. Uh. What's getting tough here is the guy with the extendo blade is not chasing me as fast anymore. Which means I can't isolate him as well. Here's my chance. Here's my chance. Finish him. Ow, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. This is the end of me. The end of me. What part where I die? Or I heal real quick, maybe? Alright, not ideal, but... Die! There we go, one down. Are they gonna get more powerful now? Alright, well one of you's more aggressive than the other one is, so... You're the one that gets hit next. Homing fireballs now! Yeah, I heard you. I heard you in my headphones. Glory to the headphone empire. Yep. Extendo blade is no joke. Thankfully they stagger from the jump attack. Ow. Ow. No, fire bad, fire bad. Fire is bad for everybody involved. I don't like no fires. Okay, uh... Ooh! That homing, that homing attack's silly. Oh, attacking the wrong dude, buddy. You're attacking the wrong dude. There we go. Uh, hopefully the last one isn't super strong. Uh, what's he doing? He's a slow fire attack. Come on, come on. My leg is kicking so hard right now. I am hyped. Oh, that guy's right behind me. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. I'm not letting them group up on me. It's mobility here. It's just like the skeleton fight in Dark Souls 2. Except for this one's way more interesting. But, uh, it, it, but, uh, it has a similar concept of, like, getting overwhelmed a bit by too many enemies and having to just keep moving so they don't overwhelm you too much. Ow. Oh, fuck. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. We need to heal so badly right now because I took a hit from behind from asshole fire dude. Yep. And hit. Ah. My legs. I need to. My goddamn leg won't stop kicking. <laughs> I'm just really tense right now. I don't. If I can kill a, a boss on my first try, like ever, I'd be just happy. Because that hasn't happened so far. Oh, fire guy's coming. The tough thing about fire, dude, is that you can't keep him on screen unless you're actively fighting him. So, uh, that makes it difficult to dodge his attacks as they come in. Oh, no, I got stuck behind it. Yep. A lot of fire coming in. Oh, this guy's getting good at dodging. Okay, I'm gonna run for a second. Just because I don't like the angle of the approaching fire, dude. Come at me, bro. Brosif. Oh, this, yeah, he's getting, good, he's getting good at dodging. Oh, oh, fire's coming. Fire is incoming. Aha, you can't dodge when there's a... Yes. Ow, dick. He couldn't dodge because directly to his side was a uh, was a uh, tombstone handy for me. Ow! He just does a combust. Okay, don't don't run directly into combust attack. Ow! Shit! 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 Don't die like this! Don't die like this! Get behind a thing! Get behind a thing! Oh shit! Oh shit! Where's my fire? Oh, he got he has a melee now. That's scary. Oh, what what's he doing? Oh, fuck you! 
fuck you, and I accidentally hit this heal the heal button, which I didn't mean to do. Ow. Oh, you got scary. You got a- you turned into a big scary dude. I don't like you at all in this- I don't like this version of you at all. But you don't have very many hit points, so that's my primary strength right here. Where are the snakes coming from? There's one. Running away, running away, running- OH! What? They do that? Okay. This fucker needs to die, like... Oh, god damn it. How do you even know what the snakes are gonna do? They just come from every direction. Fuck you. Fuck you, you can't- you can't side dodge this attack. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead! Oh, for, I killed on my first try! <laughs> Holy shit, that was a tense fight! <laughs> Shadow of Yarnum taken down to Blood Rapture. <laughs> Holy fuck, that was a cool encounter. Oh my god. I need to chill out right now. I'm rolling around like a fucking crazy person cause it's a fucking waste of bullets. Bam! <sighs> I probably could have used the bullet, the gun a few times there, but it was hard to figure out when to parry. And generally, just going into like all range whip mode was just my best approach to dealing with the fact that there were so many enemies following me around in circles the whole time. <sighs> Let's just get the fuck back to town really quick and spend these souls before I lose them all in a dumb way. <sighs> Alright, let's see what we can buy. So I have some... Uh, Frenzied Cold Blood? How, what does rank 8 give you? Only 3,000. The number makes me think it's gonna give me so much more. But still not that much. Oops, I forgot to use multiple. My bad. There we go. This is, this has to be the most souls I've ever had, ever. And just before fighting that boss, when I got killed by the... When I exp explored the poison area, that was the previous time I had the most souls ever, so go figure. Uh, where do I check? I guess my first thing to check in here, see if there's anything new at the store. Stone shards, nope. See if got if our friend is here to talk to us. He's not. I still don't have the ability to use runes, right? No. So let's go for uh, fortify. Oh, I'm already on chunk level. All right, so I need I need three chunks to level it up. I probably already used one chunk earlier and just forgot. Well, I don't need twin sh shards anymore, so let's upgrade the blunderbuss. Now it needs chunks, okay. The cannon is a scary freaking weapon, but it needs 30 strength, which is way outside my range. Let's see here. Huh, I could start stocking up on new weapons. If I get my uh, strength high enough, I could start using other weapons potentially. Uh, da -da -da. The hunter axe is a pretty freaking cool weapon. But what's the highest st scaling sta- oh, stake driver. I think- I yeah, I'll grab the stake driver. It just seems like a cool weapon, so I'd like to have it around. Rifle spear also seems like a cool weapon. Scales with everything, interestingly enough. But yeah, threaded cane is the best, uh, dexterity weapon, unfortunately. I mean, fortunately, I like, I like the weapon, but I mean, like, I'd like to have other options. Can't use the stake driver, though, until I get to 18 strength. Welcome. Let's see, how can I level from here? I'm still jittery from the boss fight. How's my strength? Nine. So I have to go knee. I can't even I can't even make make it close to getting to eighteen. It would give me a total of let's see, the four points of strength would give me four additional damage with my cane as opposed to how much in skill. Yeah, seven points of damage from skill. So it's still hard to justify putting points on strength unless I wanted to intentionally gimp myself. Vitality is not a terrible option for more hit points. I'd get more. I get a hundred and about a hundred and twenty. But yeah, one of the best things to keep me alive generally is just having a bunch of damage. So I'm gonna go for more skill for now. There we go. How much do I have left? I need fifteen thousand. Wow. So even so, well, to be clear, if I had not bought the new weapon, I would still not be able to level up again. So I did. I did not waste a level on that. Uh so even though we have the most uh, most I most stuff ever, we still don't have enough. Uh, I I do not have a huge supply of blood vials, as it turns out. So let's just stock up on blood vials. I like to blow my uh, whenever I level up, I like to blow my excess souls or blood vi or blood uh, echoes of the game on consumables. Oftentimes, just because I could easily lose it in the next zone, and I figure, well, this is 
the, the number of items I have here is literally less than how much you get you require to level up. So, like, so that means it's comparatively not a high value amount of stuff. I'm still wondering how you open this. Still closed. What's the specter say? Oh wait, that's someone dying. How'd they die? Oh well. That's just someone's specter. That's not a, uh... That is not... Information. I was hoping that it'd be text about how, what to do there. So, I think I'm gonna take a break, because I'm a little jittery from that whole encounter, but thanks for watching guys like always. That was a cool boss fight. Like, that might be my favorite boss fight so far, because it was all about carefully observing your environment, handling multiple enemies, but not in a, uh... Not in the overwhelming way of a like it like it, it wasn't a ruin sentinel. Ruin sentinels are kind of are kind of a not great multiple enemy fight because they all spam you simultaneously with that dumb spinning attack, and at any moment everything gets screwed. But like as as you could watch from that video, as you could see in this episode, I clearly was able to control the situation. There was ways to handle that, which was good, and I like that in a boss fight with multi multiple targets, and that's a good thing. Uh, and I could clearly tell, because they're humanoid, and just wearing robes, I could clearly tell what they were doing at any given moment if, they were, if I was looking at them. And one of my complaints about some of the beast enemies so far has been that they have so many rags and flappy flesh everywhere all over them, and fur and whatever, that sometimes it, the, all the little strands of stuff all over their body kind of clouds their movements and makes it hard to see their animations. Where that wasn't a problem with Gascoigne, and that was not a pro with Gascoigne, that's not a problem with this boss, wasn't a problem with Cleric Beast, I don't think, but it was kind of a problem with the other two beasts. But thanks for watching, guys, like always. I'll see you next time. And hopefully I'll be a little less over-caffeinated that time. <laughs>